hi guys it's colette welcome back to my channel and we've got the rorig deck and we're going to do the weekly tarot card for the week commencing monday the 31st of may 2021 so let's see what we've got <laughs> This is my first week with Tarot since I turned 60, so let's hope it's a good one. <laughs> oh, it's my favourite card in the deck. Oh my goodness. This is the Six of Swords. See the right there. The Six of Swords. Hmm. I'm sensing something wrong with the camera, but I'm going to go for it anyway, okay? Um, right. Um, Six of Swords um, in the Rorig deck. It's got this beautiful kind of maze or labyrinth on it. And the two threads start at the bottom at separate bits and then they meet up at the top. All the way through that maze. I love it. It's one of my favourite cards in the whole deck, particularly in Rorig. Now, basically, the Six of Swords in the traditional Rider Waite deck um, is seen as the card of emigration. There's a um, couple of people on the boat and they're rowing to another island. I think it's a woman, a child and a man rowing. And literally they're leaving their past behind and going straight to the next destination. So it's seen as travel across seas. It's seen as movement within... Um, your whole life or your whole energy. Excuse me. I think I've been talking too much again. Anyway, so the Six of Swords is very much about um, looking forward, but looking forward knowing where you've come from. It's not like just looking forward without the lessons learned of the past. It's about lessons learned and then pushing your boat out to take you to your new destination. Now globally this could be an amazing card, absolutely amazing card. It could mean that there's lots of governments that are actually making progress in learning from past mistakes. They're maybe looking at how they've handled things before in the past, seeing the successes, <clears throat> seeing the failures, and then being ready to move on with that knowledge. Now, it's not a little card, although it's a minor arcana. To me, it's always been quite a major card um, because it always it's always turned up in my life when there's been quite a major turning point where I've maybe changed career or I've, moved house or um you know i've made my mark in some way um if there's been maybe elections things like that um so globally i actually think this is going to be a fantastic card now don't get me wrong sometimes this card can pivot on something forcing it forward but the long-term outcome of the card is movement forward is progress um so yeah good uh general global card if you're looking um for a kind of word to understand it as it flows through your personal life the big word is um kind of emigration it's about moving from one place to another one country to another um if you look at that personally with career it's an excellent card for making um a big change and a movement forward. I sought out one um, to a new career or a new job. It doesn't come without its opportunities, but it comes um, with the sense of opportunity of being there, but you have to take that step towards them. Um, it's not like going blindly into something. It's known that if you do take that step, that the universe is going to match up some things for you really really good card for career if we look at health oh i've just put the card back in the deck i'm awful good at just reshuffling <laughs> i wanted to show you this again but no doubt ah uh, yeah it's it's my daughter oh no i found it again um health wise um I actually see this as a kind of labyrinth which represents the ear area to me. So watch out for um, dizziness, uh, a sense of maybe 
um, inner ear problems, uh, balance issues, and also remember that if it's part of travel, these could be worse. So if you're going on a ferry or an aeroplane or whatever, you might need to take um, an anti-nausea tablet because this takes in the whole of the inner ear area for me. So it's not the worst health card. In general, it can mean that you get news that allows you to move on to a better form of treatment or a better health uh, regime. Lovely, lovely card. Um, in love, I can see this sometimes as soulmates coming together. They start off and they're going through the web of life, the labyrinth of life, and they eventually come together. So there could be a lot of people meeting with soulmates in the week ahead and that can be absolutely lovely financially again it's a move to good practices it's an understanding of where you've gone wrong it's an understanding that um sometimes we have to move on even if we don't necessarily want to we know that if the right thing's there we have to move towards it even if we've been frivolous in the past so a good card for finances Spiritually, I love it because it brings a almost karmic connection, a movement forward to where you're meant to be or who you're meant to be with in, in a way of maybe mentoring back and forth. It can bring you um, a new tool uh, to do your magical or your mystical work, your tarot work. Um, but there's always a feeling about it. There's always a sense of oh, that's what I've been waiting for. I've, you know, I've been held back, but now I'm moving towards it. So again, people that have complained about being on a plateau spiritually could find that in the, the week ahead, they're moving forward and they're happy to be taking off towards a new destination again. What's not to like? Um, as I say, we shouldn't have favourite tarot decks, but if, tarot cards, but if we did... This is my favourite card. I love it. I love the energy of being able to leave the past in the past and travel to a new destination, a new career, a new outlook, a new relationship, a new friendship. And also it's the card that can bring travel, um, emigrations, um, new houses, new beginnings, all with that feeling of... This is big. This move that we're making is part of some sort of karmic plan. Um, and I know there'll be other people that read the Six of Swords as, you know, just a sort of movement card or, you know. But to me, it's always brought bigger things. Um, this card came out when I got my first national column on a Sunday a newspaper many many years ago um after russell grant had gone i got his astrology slot um for years and it was a big thing believe me it was a big thing um to have a national sunday paper um because it gets your name out there so that came out before that um happened and it also came out a few other times in my life where i've had really good um career opportunities and yes I had to find the courage to go for them you know but I did and whatever I did with this card they always worked out for me so lovely card six of swords um if you like the tarot videos give me a wee thumbs up um subscribe to my channel have a wee look at my coffee page um not necessarily to donate but if you go into the shop in the coffee page um there's free articles and free kind of blogs and quizzes they're building up and bit by bit there'll be the odd course and stuff on there too um but it's worthwhile subscribing to the coffee page so that you see what's coming up um because i'm spending a lot of time of it uh time on it and um i think it's going to be a good way to get in touch and keep in touch with the people that are very very um committed to the channel uh give some things back if you know what i mean the odd um you know maybe a bit of writing or the odd quiz the odd i don't know collect words i suppose 
and also just uh, you may notice the name of the channels changed. Um, I did major journaling this week and had been told to use my grandmother name, which is Grandmother Winds of the Earth. And um, the book I'm writing next year is Wisdom and Knowledge, Grandmother Winds of the Earth. So it's all tying in. Um, but the channel, the coffee page and um, the Facebook page will all be Grandmother Winds of the Earth. And uh, I'm looking forward to the work that I produce and the knowledge that I pass on. Um, I've had my grandmother name for about 10 years. I've not necessarily used it apart from in some writing um, articles, etc. Um, but I've been told <laughs> 10 years of having it's enough. I now have to um, move forward and sit in the place of the grandmothers. And um, I look forward to doing that. Um, yeah, so... Have a good week ahead. Use the influence of this card in any way you can because it's a really good one. So many blessings. Uh, have a good week and um, I should be back to posting um, regular schedule again later on in the week ahead. Many blessings now. Bye.